everybody let's do the card today it is monday february 8th 2021 and we're going to be doing the card of the day of focus of intention and this is not a reading a reading is intimate discussion between well there you go um they're not playing today it's monday obviously um miracle monday manifestation monday i'm grateful for everything i'm grateful that i'm alive another fucking day a lot of people bitching i'm only about it's monday it is monday a start of a new day a start of a new week you woke up be grateful for that you tend to forget the little things many people are not surviving especially in the last three years so again be grateful for what you got we already have a card this is not a reading a reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice hopefully led by your intuition because as i always say your intuition is your superpower everyone's born intuitive not everyone listens to their intuition now with that being said this is just a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours as directed by spirit i follow my squad all day every day i'm an ancestral and rituals practitioner first and foremost above all titles i am a servant i am a channel i am a messenger and the card already fell out from my favorite deck the adinkra ancestral guidance cards by simone brazianda who is no longer with us rest in peace my love i miss you dearly and the card that fell out is is called a coco naim and it means leg of a hen a coco naim tiaba na encumno the hen treads on her chicks but she does not kill them and let's see a coco naim let's see what it says philosophical significance nurturing and discipline there's a need to assert your boundaries in a firm but nurturing way being both protective and corrective is an ideal goal of a parent learn to apply this skill to many aspects of your life and relationships additional meaning for this card teach people how to treat you enforce now and reap the rewards later lead by example and i honestly am telling you this right now i do i believe this with all of my heart is spirit's way of saying you have to start putting yourself above all else you have to love yourself but you need to make it yourself the priority loving yourself i actually put up i actually did twitter post earlier today and i shared it to instagram and it's all about love i can love you i love everybody i love everybody and i'm going to treat you like i treat my own and that's probably why the community has nicknamed me mama vida i never gave myself that name and that's another thing if you give yourself a name that's all ego your community your elders your your masters your teachers your loved ones through a community human setting they have labeled you they've given you your title i actually have a freaking community that labeled me as mama vida because i will get on you like a mama does and i'm gonna treat you like i treat my own i'm gonna treat you hard but firm with all the love in the world and if i love you i love all of you but i can love you and still have my boundaries i can love you and still have my respect i can love you and still thrive in what you may feel is harsh but it's true because my love for you has nothing to do with you my love for you has everything to do with me because i love myself and if i feel that i don't love you at 100 percent, maybe because of your actions or but what you said it's is it really love? No, it's because I don't like your behavior, but I still love who you are. And I love your energy and I love your spirit and I love the potential. But again, I don't have to like your behavior. I don't have to like your ego. I don't have to like what the fuck you said. I don't have to like what the fuck you did. But I still will love you because at the end of the day, love is the movement. And this card is saying that you have to nurture, but also be disciplined. You have to nurture yourself and even discipline yourself by allowing yourself Who's allowed to step and break those boundaries? Those boundaries are there to help you and to save you and to even teach you more love about yourself. I'm not being mean when I enforce my fucking boundaries. I love myself. It's never been about being mean. I love myself so much that I need to protect myself from certain energies. That's why I have my fucking boundaries and my boundaries are not to be crossed. I am nurturing you, but I'm still disciplined enough to say, I love you. I gave you the information. Now let's apply it to your life. Now, if you don't do the work, that's on you. That has nothing to do with me, but I still love you regardless if you do the work not i still love you if you become an asshole i still love you if you still acting like a bitch i still love you i'm just not gonna like it there's a difference between love and like and again it goes you have to teach people how to treat you but if you don't love yourself at a full capacity you keep teaching them they can walk over you because you letting yourself be walked over on by other people because that's where you were trained or conditioned or raised in that manner like oh you know i'm supposed to be everybody's like one of my clients over the weekend said like you know what i feel like i was everybody's doormat because that's what they were trained to do in, the, in their specific generations, specific cultures, that we are trained to be at other people's beck and call. Fuck that. 
Hell no. This car is saying, a coconut is saying, you have to nurture, but you also have to be disciplined. There's, there is a need. It's a, the first line. I'm not even making that up. It says, there is a need to assert your boundaries. You need boundaries. Not that you want them. You need them. It's the only way you're going to survive, especially in this time frame, especially in this generation, especially in this year of 2021. Two plus two plus one equals five, and five is the number of change in numerology. Angel numbers whatever you want to call it i speak about it in detail in my angel numbers and numerology webinar that's on my website if you were interested in just doing more research you can definitely purchase that or you can do research on your own on the number five number five is all about change and change is uncomfortable why because we get comfortable even in our bullshit he ain't shit but he ain't my he's my ain't shit motherfucker change is necessary if not we'd all still be babies crawling on the floor if we did not change Every day is a change. Nothing stays the same. The only permanent issues in the human realm is the human birth and the human death. Everything in between those two points changes. Everything. So teach people how to treat you. Enforce now and reap your rewards later. The more you enforce your boundaries, the more rewards you get later on for loving yourself. Because again, you putting those acts of self-love and those boundaries up and these I need to, I need to get myself going. I need to work on myself. And you know, some people are like, oh, you disappeared. And you know, you do these little disappearing acts. You damn right, I'm going to act and build up my fortress of my boundaries. And you're not going to get through that unless I let you in. And again, this where you have your discernment. This is where you have, this is where you have, you know, your nurturing. Like you have to nurture yourself. You also have to be disciplined against these toxic relationships. Whether they're your parents, whether they're your siblings, whether they're your spouse, whether they're your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whether they gave birth to you or you gave birth to them. You have to still be disciplined with those toxic relationships no matter what they are. And as being both protective and corrective is an ideal goal of a parent. Learn to apply this skill to many aspects of your life and relationships. You need to be nurturing and disciplined. You need to be protective and corrective you need to protect yourself because energy is contagious and then you also need to correct what people can and can't do with you what you will or won't allow at the end of the day i love each and every one of y'all do i like all y'all behaviors no i don't that's it but i hope i help i hope i put some things in perspective i hope i made you feel better um the card of the day is always on youtube you can share this video with other people who you feel is going to resonate with thank you for liking commenting and subscribing to this channel thank you uh, for respecting my boundaries thank you for loving me and thank you for fucking with me no matter what i hope this helped again and if you'd like to share this please do so the Tr almighty pineapple llc is trademark copyright and registered with several different classifications of the united states government any duplication of my content is subject to legal recourse is guided by my legal team if you'd like to follow me on instagram you can follow my insights page at readings by vida on twitter at readings by vida on tiktok at readings by vida my products page at the almighty pineapple llc on instagram and at the almighty pineapple on facebook i am starting a facebook page for the business so, but again i haven't been updating it because again i have all these things going on i'm still doing oracle card readings to raise funds for oreo's vet and medical and surgery bill that he just had surgery on Thursday, the community ritual for the new moon in Aquarius is Thursday. Yes, Thursday, February 11, 2021. You can go to the almightypineapple.com under services and enter. It's $11.11 per person. So again, it's per person. If you have a child you want to add, you have to pay $11.11 .11 for that child. If you have a partner you want to add, you want a sibling or a parent you want to add, if they're over the age of 18, you must ask them permission. I am not the moral police, but if you do not ask permission, free will zone here people free will if you don't ask them and you add enter them in the community ritual it's not going to work out in your favor okay so make sure you ask permission free will here everybody you don't want anyone forcing shit on you so do the same thing as well when it comes to children if you have custody of them if you're their guardian your foster parent adoptive parent your grandparents and you these children are your under your ruling care then you can add them as well to the community ritual but it is 11 dollars per person no matter what the age is all right i love y'all and i'll see y'all later